We've been talking about eight common installation errors with heating and air conditioning systems. We talked about oversized equipment being a first one, the ducts the wrong size, poor filter locations. What's a fourth problem for installation errors that people have commonly? Well, we had touched on it earlier with, with properly sizing duct systems, but and, it's, and part of it also extends from the filter, it is leaking ducts. Not assembled properly, uh, poor skill and workmanship when they're cutting openings, uh, using tape and not mastics, mm -hmm. um, when they use building ca cavities for returns, they're not sealed properly. Uh, a lot of those issues are in one of the one of the next major major ones. Okay, this fourth one, I, I didn't quite get exactly what the fourth one is. It is, is the duct leaks. The duct leaks themselves. The duct leaks themselves. Where the second, the, the second one is more the actual design layout oh. of the of the duct system and being um, sized to properly distribute the air. The fourth major cause of it is is the actual leaks, poor skilled workmanship when it's assembled and installed. When I, I went to a person's house with you a week ago, and she had horrific health problems, the doctor did not even know what was going on because she was breathing all this terrible stuff. Uh, oh yeah, you... she, had, she had leaks uh, in her duct system you could literally put your hand into, um, and not just one or two, but several of them, and all her duct system was located in her crawl space. And she was having a lot of dust and dirt in the house, um, mold issues, and, and a high sensitivity to other things because it's pulling in this air out of the duct system and outside her living space trying to heat to cool the house. So you're telling me the hole of air, and this is a big company. This is one everybody knows the name of this company in Lexington. Huge holes in the ductwork and all the outside air or the air from the crawl space under the house. All this air was getting sucked into the equipment and then coming up in through the registers and right into her house for her to breathe it. Yes, it's, it's typical for a high volume contractor. Someone that's going to sell on price and sell a lot of equipment because of price. Uh, they got to save money and they got to equalize somewhere. Mm -hmm. And normally you pay for it in installation and attention to detail. Wow. And this, this was just a lot of joints and the way it was assembled. They use the same components we do, but it's just a pay to, to take But you know what? Down. She said to me, she had had five or six companies, all different companies come out, and not a single one of them understood or valued the importance. And the gentleman that found her problems, he had only worked with us for a year. But we, we push quality so high and, and give them the indicators to look for that he, and the, com, the problems are a lot more common than someone would realize. He was able to locate them with, within uh, a few minutes of his initial visit because we give him the pointers to look for. We, he knows where the mistakes are because we continually train our people and we constantly push quality in what we're doing. Well, you know, in a way, Butch, <laughs> this is the uniqueness of you. Uh, you you fix other companies or other others' installations. How's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And instead of instead of us repairing what your husband fixed, we did we repair what other companies install. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>